to the More Funny Than Fit show. I wanted to talk to you today about something that I'm sure goes on in gyms all over the world nearly every day, but it's not something that I've had too much uh, experience with myself, probably because of the type of places that I've worked at in my career. Uh, you know, like most of the gyms I've worked at were either exclusive team only, member only type gyms, or at the very, very least, extremely high end uh, type of clients. So the standards of behavior uh, at those type of places are, are high. People are going to act like their reputation matters because you know the people in the gym around you and what you think of them and how they're perceived, uh, you know, in terms of their manners is important. And that's the environment that I've been in most of my career. And I'm at a very good facility now, but it is different. It's more of an open gym. So you have new people coming in all the time. Uh, it's a little bit of a lower price to, uh, price to enter. And so you see a lot of different things that I haven't been exposed to before in my career. And one of those is guys hitting on girls, like nonstop. Uh, and it's happened a lot in the past couple of weeks. So I wanted to come on here and tell you a couple of short stories how, and how I felt during it, how my clients felt during it. And, and, and let's hopefully get, you know, Hopefully this doesn't happen moving forward too much. But, you know, the first story was I had a girl coming in and she was doing power cleans for the first time. Never done any Olympic lifting in her life. First rep, a guy comes over and says, hey, let me show you how to do that. So second story, uh, had a girl pushing a sled or actually pulling a sled. And a guy came over and said, hey, you need help with that? Third story, had a girl doing farmer's carries and a guy comes over, stands right in front of her and says, hey, you look like you're really enjoying that. Now, what do all three of these stories have in common? What they said could be taken in a very friendly way. At the same time, you don't know that person and that person doesn't know you. And in all of these times, my client felt uncomfortable. For context, the girl who's doing a power clean ended up actually lifting more than the guy who was trying to educate her. Uh, and I don't know why. So actually when that happened, I asked the guy, what do you do for work? Uh, and he said, he's a pilot. And I don't know why, first of all, that pilots seem to, after a certain amount of years and after a certain amount of level they achieve in their own career, uh, I have friends who are pilots, but it seems that across the board, when they reach a certain level, they start thinking that they know everything, uh, not only everything, but everything better than literally everyone. Uh, I don't know if that's just my experience or you have that uh, as well. But the second time, so when, when that guy came up and I, I told him, what do you do for work? And he said, he's a pilot. I asked him, you know, would you want me, a passenger coming into the cockpit and explaining to you how to fly a plane? And, you know, that guy, he did say fair enough, and he walked away. Uh, with a girl on the sled, that guy goes up to girls. You know, he comes to the gym for one hour, and he'll go up to every single girl pretty much in the gym throughout that time, day after day. And, you know, in that circumstance, she's pulling a sled, and he offers his help. What can he do to help? Pull it for her? How is that helping her? You know, and I, I know I'm taking this a bit too literally, but... It came across really uh, cheeky and uh, not, not in a pleasant way. And, and the third one, my client, she always wears very conservative clothing. You know, she's always fully covered. And during this workout, she was sweating a lot more than normal. So she took the outer layer off uh, so she could continue the workout. And right when she does that is when the guy comes over to her and, you know, interferes with her workout. And then, you know, then she turns to me, she says, Tarek, this is why I dress the way I do. And it's sad. It's really sad that, you know, I have 50% of my clients are women. And 100% of my, you know, kind of issues that I have during my sessions are with women. And they're always the same. They're always somebody else, you know, some man in the gym trying to interfere with her uh, or her workout. 
And they have the same intention. You know, my female clients have the same exact intention that my male clients do. But my male clients don't have girls coming up to them and interfering and trying to hit on them. And I get it. The gym, I think, is a, do, is a, is a healthy place uh, to meet people. And I'm all for being friendly. And again, everything they said could be taken in a friendly way, but not in the way that it was said. You know, you don't walk up to somebody and physically interfere with their workout. If you want to introduce yourself to somebody, you say, hi, I am this, and I really like what you're doing in the gym. I like the effort that you're giving. Uh, something like that, something along those lines to make sure that person that you're talking to, may, make sure that that woman that you're approaching feels comfortable. And again, that client is paying me to help them with the j- training. They don't need you to help them with the training. If you are looking to make some type of a connection with that person, come at it from a different angle. And again, I don't think that I'm necessarily talking to, you know, uh, I'm sure you haven't been that person, you know, that we're trying, trying to kind of persecute in this situation. But if you do see it, you know, one thing that I've done in all of these situations is I have spoken up. I have defended my client. I have called the guy out because, you know, I'm not going to let that go. It's not only my career, but also my place of work. And I would like it to be held to a higher standard. I would like our behavior in the gym to be held to a higher standard. And again, I don't go to clubs. I don't go out. I don't have much of a nightlife. If I'm going to meet somebody, it's going to be in a gym. So I would be a devil's advocate and a bit of a hypocrite um, if I was calling somebody out for trying to meet somebody in the gym. But do it in a healthy way. Do it in a friendly way. Do it in a way that isn't going to come across as a creep. Because in these three stories, I'm telling you, it came across as a creep. And uh, it was not a person, like a very friendly experience for anyone involved. Uh, And the gym should be a friendly place. So, yeah, that's something that I've happened to experience recently. Um, And when I tell girls about it, like all three of these clients of mine, they said the same thing. This is normal. This happens. This is how it is. And uh, not to jump on the Me Too movement too much, but uh, this was something that was a bit of a new thing for me. Again, in my career, I haven't seen that happen before. People are in the gym to train. They have a purpose why they're there. It's to get stronger, bigger, faster. Um, and it's not necessarily to come across as a creep. So I um, wanted to come on and share these experiences with you. Uh, thank you for listening. Again, you can follow me on YouTube at More Funny Than Fit, uh, Spotify at More Funny Than Fit, Instagram at More Funny Than Fit. And I look forward to seeing you all soon. Have a good one. Bye.